Good afternoon. The Secretary General and the Prime Minister will start with short opening remarks uh, and then we'll have time for a couple of questions. Secretary General. Prime Minister Kuczynski, it's uh, very much uh, welcome uh, to NATO headquarters. It's a great uh, pleasure to have you here and to meet with you here at uh, the NATO headquarters in uh, Brussels. And let me also congratulate you on your appointment as uh, uh, Prime Minister. I'm looking forward to cooperate uh, with you uh, in your new capacity. You are taking office at a challenging uh, time for European uh, security. And NATO is adapting to keep all allies safe. Latvia is strongly uh, committed to NATO, and NATO is strongly committed uh, to uh, Latvia. You contribute uh, to NATO uh, in many different uh, ways. You contribute to our response force, and to our exercises on land, at sea, and in the air. Your troops help make a difference in Afghanistan, and you provide strong support for our partner Ukraine, both politically and uh, practically. You, Latvia, host one of our new force integration units in Riga. This small headquarters will play a key role in planning and exercising, and to help ensure that our forces can deploy quickly if uh, needed. We recently uh, decided to enhance our forward uh, presence in the eastern part of our alliance. We also agreed uh, that this presence will be multinational. This sends a very clear signal. An attack on any ally uh, will be met not just by national forces, but by all allies. Our military authorities will provide advice on the size and the composition in the coming weeks. These decisions mean that there will be more NATO in Latvia than ever before. In July, we will meet again at the Warsaw Summit. The decisions we take there will ensure that our alliance is even stronger and more flexible to adapt to threats from any direction. But, that we, uh, but what will never change is our steadfast determination to keep our people uh, safe. So, Prime Minister, uh, once again, welcome uh, to NATO headquarters. I'm looking forward to our cooperation. Please. Uh, well, this, when uh, she submitted claims, be duty. Thank you. This visit was very important to me uh, because, uh, NATO, because NATO is a guarantee of our uh, political stability and without the security and stability and security we can't speak about fast uh, development of uh, economics in Latvia and also development as such and therefore first I also assured that Latvia will reach 2% of GDP by 2018 in, I mean, in the, of uh, defense budgets. And we will use it exactly for host nation support regarding NATO. And at the moment, we prepare for the NATO summit. Therefore, it was very important to speak today about Latvia's wishes and needs for further cooperation. We spoke about hybrid war possibilities, how to eliminate it, and we spoke about bigger NATO presence in Latvia, and about all kinds of def defense and how important 
the integration of uh, also the cooperation between uh, NATO and European Union. Start with uh, Latvian radio. Radio Latvia. My first question to Secretary General: How would you evaluate uh, overall security situation in the Baltics and in Latvia, particularly? And if I may, in Latvia, and for Prime Minister uh, Kuczynski's uh, uh, Prime Minister, what are the questions that you discussed? Uh, what Latvia has to do till Warsaw summit? Uh, when receiving assurance that there will be a continuous presence. Uh, when it comes to the security situation in the Baltic region, uh, we uh, see a changed and more challenging uh, security environment. Uh, we don't see any imminent threat against any NATO ally, including uh, the uh, Baltic uh, uh, allied uh, members of uh, NATO. Uh, but we see a more assertive Russia uh, with a um, significant military buildup in uh, the region. And that's also the uh, reason why uh, NATO is uh, responding. And uh, NATO has responded by increased uh, presence in the Baltic region with uh, air policing, with uh, naval presence in the Baltic uh, Sea, and also uh, with more exercises and uh, troops uh, on the ground on a rotational basis. Uh, and we decided uh, to further increase our presence uh, in the eastern part of the alliance, including in the Baltic uh, region. We made, made that decision at our defense ministerial meeting uh, in uh, February. Now we are working on uh, how uh, this uh, decision is going to be implemented, and I expect the decisions to be taken uh, at our summit in uh, Warsaw. Uh, uh, deciding more uh, on uh, the numbers and uh, how we are going to uh, uh, follow up. What we can already say is that the increased presence uh, of NATO in the Baltic region is going to be a multinational presence, uh, meaning forces from uh, different NATO allied uh, countries, sending a very clear signal about that an attack on one ally will be uh, met by forces from uh, the whole alliance, that we will stand together. Uh, and this is a strong and important signal, uh, not least for uh, Latvia and for uh, the other Baltic uh, uh, countries. Uh, moreover, we have also increased the readiness and the responsiveness of our forces. We have tripled the size of the NATO response force, so we can deploy forces quickly uh, if uh, needed. So NATO, together with Latvia, uh, we are responding. Uh, to a more challenging security environment uh, in the uh, Baltic region. Until NATO summit, if we speak about uh, works to be done till that time, in fact, we speak about how it's important that Latvia uh, shows that we step-by-step uh, uh, step increase our uh, defense budget. Regarding long-term rotational forces, uh, we should be prepared, we should be prepared and uh, should prepare to host them. And of course, Latvia uh, should discuss and uh, make a common position with Lithuania and Estonia. That's very important to us. Because uh, uh, unity of Baltic states is important and cooperation between our countries, all three countries too. Latvian television, Ilza Nagla. Secretary General, a couple of days ago, uh, there were two Russian uh, military ships and a submarine in uh, Latvian economic zone waters. How would you interpret that? And would you say that uh, uh, relationship with Russia is growing more intense? There is more tension. And uh, the second question for the uh, Latvian Prime Minister, Kuczynska Kung's uh, 
Rietumbalkānu bēgļu ceļš šobrīd ir slēgts. Tas nozīmē, ka patvāru meklēs jaunus ceļus nākot caur Krievi uz Latviju. Um, at the same time, I think it's important to also underline that uh, everything NATO does is uh, uh, defensive, uh, it is proportionate, and it is absolutely in line with our international uh, commitments. And we do not seek confrontation with Russia. We don't uh, want a new Cold War. So, so therefore, we uh, also convey a message of uh, that there has to be a balance between uh, military strength and political uh, dialogue and, and engagement. And uh, I discussed with the uh, Prime Minister the importance of uh, both pursuing uh, the uh, uh, path of uh, strengthening our military capabilities, our defences, but at the same time uh, pursuing uh, political engagement with Russia, because Russia is going to be our biggest neighbour. Russia is going to uh, 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 continue to be uh, our biggest neighbour. So, uh, therefore, we also need to continue to strive for a more constructive and cooperative relationship with uh, uh, Russia. But that has to be based on uh, some fundamental uh, rules and values. And one of the most important values is, of course, uh, the importance of respecting the borders of your neighbour, uh, uh, because that's a precondition for a constructive relationship. A question about asylum seekers uh, is on the agenda of European Union in the context with the cooperation with uh, Turkey. Uh, this, this question of cooperation with uh, Turkey, uh, NATO's presence in Aegean Sea is very important. It's one of uh, the points to be discussed. And the point will be discussed if, uh, if the, the result of this uh, plan uh, may bring other ways. Then we, also as a member of European Union, we must stress that these questions will be kept on agenda. Therefore, two, two possible ways, one through, uh, one through Baltic uh, countries and Balkans. Thank you very much. This concludes this press point. Thank you.